Hi everybody! Today I'm going to show you two ways that you can embed YouTube videos about the Olympics or any other topic that you're studying onto your Google Sites. So the first way to do it, and this is my Google Site test page that I've set up for you, is to find your video on YouTube. So this one's called Raising an Olympian. And you're going to go down, you don't have to actually let it play, you're at the right link for this video. So you're going to go down to the share button below and click that. And the first way I'm going to show you is to embed it with the YouTube link. So I'm just going to copy that link. And if I wanted it to start a little earlier or later, I actually want it to start at zero. So I'm going to make sure I have it back to zero. So let's copy that again. And then I'm going to go to my test page. And I'm going to go into edit mode by clicking the pencil at the top. And I'm going to insert. Because it's YouTube and Google owns YouTube, we should have a button that says YouTube. So here it is, insert YouTube video. And it just says paste the URL of your YouTube video. So I'm going to Command V and paste that YouTube. It shows me the preview that's looking right. I could adjust the size to the width of my page, but I'm going to do that later if I want. I can include a, bor a vor border sorry, and have a title if I want. So I'm just going to save. And that puts a widget on my page. I can't see the movie yet because I'm still in edit mode. So I'm going to click save. If I wanted to make some changes like center it on my page, I could do that here. I could also adjust the size again by hitting um, the settings button. But I think I'm going to leave it in the middle. Click save. And there it is on my page. The second way to do it is to go into edit mode. Okay, and let's say I want to try putting another video underneath this one. So I'm going to enter a few times on the left there. The second way to do it is to grab the embed code. And embed code is good to know about because if YouTube and Google, because they work together so nicely, you can just put the link in. But sometimes if you're embedding other things, you might need to look for this embed code. And you're going to copy that text, because that's code. And you're going to go back to your um, site. This time, instead of creating, just using insert, you're going to go over to the HTML button at the side of your page. And you're going to edit the HTML. This shows us that first video. That's all the code that's involved with that first video. We're going to paste in the code for our second video. I don't really know much about what this means, and I don't have to, because uh, the computer's going to do the work for me. Then when I click Update, I should have a second widget. Yes, there I have it. I'm going to leave it left justified, so we know we've got the same, the different movies in there. And then I'm going to click Save. And now on my page, I've got the same video, one a little smaller, one a little larger. One I grabbed with a link, and one I grabbed with HTML code. All right, those are the two ways to do it. Of course, if you're just doing movies from YouTube, you'd pick the first one probably, the linking. It's easy to do, but if you ever want to know how to do it the other way because you've got a video from somewhere else and you only have code, you don't have a YouTube connection, or if it's a photo babble, or if it's an audio boo, um, some of those other kinds of tools where you can grab some embed code, a voice thread, for example, it would work with voice thread as well. So that's what you would do. If you have any questions, I look forward to answering them by email or when I see you next week. Talk to you soon. Bye.